That being said, uh, TJ, sorry to uh, take too long to get to you, but uh, sorry, man. It's all good. I'm just trying to get um, out of my coffee. How you doing, Dave? Very well, uh, TJ. Um, I, I really thoroughly enjoy hearing you say cocktopus. Um, <laughs> yes. Mm, <laughs> mm. Well, here, the, the story behind me is I, I make uh, videos on YouTube poning Fox News. So I watch a lot of Fox News. So I've watched you from the beginning. Um, I've seen like every interview you've done. So obviously my first question to you is going to be um, how do the tides work? Have you figured that out yet? Actually, we already knew that. Um, really? I, I, yeah, we actually already knew that. And, you know, I, I, I get asked often, you know, that, that's, of course, the, the appearance, the, 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 the preeminent appearance, my most famous appearance ever. And it's kind of ironic that, you know, when I go on, when I go on television, I'm always practicing. You know, um, my wife and daughter hear me in my, in my bathroom upstairs yelling at the mirror, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then I practice and I practice and then I go on O'Reilly and he gives me some stupid ass line and I just make this and I make this face and get that, really that's that's about. another thing. Everybody focuses on the face that you made yeah. right after he asked you the question because you had that like like you in your mind like you at first you're like, did I hear that correctly? And then you could see you think, yeah, I heard that correctly. Yeah. You're welcome, <laughs> like actually, how in the hell am I supposed to respond to that? So so. The, the back story to that is that before the show, he and I had a conversation. And let me tell you something. Bill O'Reilly's a smart man. He's educated. And he is capable of having a conversation in which you get to finish your sentences. And we're having this nice, cordial conversation. I'm having this conversation with this intelligent guy who knows about Madeline Murray O'Hare. He knows about the kidnapping. He knows about the separation of church and state. He knows about uh, Ellen Johnson, my predecessor. Um, and he, he knows all this stuff. And then he comes out with this stupidity. And that look that you're seeing, that, that face that I made, is not a face of, did this guy just ask me that stupid a question? It's, did this guy who I was just talking to you to and think is intelligent, just ask my, that stupid a question. So there's this level that people don't see because there's this background that, you know, I going into that show, I'm like, all right, you know, we're going to have a conversation. Uh, he disarmed me. I'm, he totally did. Uh, and then that the show came on and he just asked this intelligent guy became Bill O'Reilly. And started asking the stupid questions. So that first question, that first look that you see is, is me trying to figure out why this intelligent man is trying to ask me a stupid question. And then you can see that I realize, oh, I'm talking to a fictional character. <laughs> I'm talking to a person who's trying to trip me up. And that's why I didn't answer the question. Because he wanted to talk about the tides in an effort to get me to stop talking about what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. So uh, that was a distraction, and that's why I did not answer the question. I said, uh, you know, something along, well, it may be Thor on Mount Olympus. And yes, I know, Thor does not live on Mount Olympus. And yes, I knew that <laughs> as soon as I said it. Uh, but, you know, you know well, that but, was But the atheists, we have nothing better to focus on than, like, nitpicking on your obviously, you know, joking answer. Yes. Um, but, yeah, that was, that was thoroughly enjoyable. By the way... Um, before you go, I would like to give you a link to a guy on YouTube called Potholer54, okay. and he made the absolute best uh, ownage video of that interview, and, and he did such a good job, and he he, uh, he paid you a lot of respect and everything, and it, it got a, a lot of views and everything, so remind me to give you that link before you go. Um, while we're to see it. Yeah, it's really good. It's not too too long either. It's only about nine minutes. The funny thing, um, uh, TJ, real quick, forget. The funny thing is, what I always love is that when you talk to Christians or people like Bill O'Reilly, they always answer a question with a question. They never want to answer your question. You know what I mean? Because they want to try to avoid it, just like you said. And I find that very entertaining when that does happen. Well, and, 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 so and just and, answer and, the question. Stop avoiding. <laughs> and, and the fun part is when you call them on it. Exactly. Right. Call change on the it, subject yeah. now. Oh, okay. We can change the subject now. Oh, uh, you're not going to answer my question. You know. That's fine. We'll just you have to acknowledge it. And when I get into you know on television, it's one thing um, because the timing is so short on oh, television. Yeah. Um, but I, on that actually leads into my next question. Um, yeah. I was gonna. Well, did you see Bill O'Reilly's response to that? First of oh, all, where, where'd the moon there, come from? Yeah. Oh God. 
<laughs> he's playing to an audience. God, yeah, to it's got to be a really special. Yeah, seventy audience. average age was seventy years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and okay. All this leads into my next question, which is uh, how much of your Fox News interviews are actually like how many how many of your responses are edited edited at all or edited out completely? Okay. Um, O'Reilly doesn't edit me. Hasn't edited me. Um, Hannity edits me a little. Um, there is a lot of editing in the Huckabee show, and I was pretty unhappy about that. Uh, I did one appearance on Huckabee, and he edited quite a bit. And there's one appearance. Um, it's on YouTube. It's called David Silverman Against Everybody at Fox. It's basically me against four people. <laughs> and, <coughs> and that video cuts short. And what you don't see at the end of that video is a really, you know, a drilling, a drilling that I gave uh, Alex McFarland on that show. And uh, they cut that off, and they're not publishing that part of the clip. And I'm really sad about that because it was epic. And uh, it's I, I gotta suck to put out like a really good argument, and it's under their control whether it gets shown to anybody. And you know that's that's part of it, you know. And I don't want to um, expose myself too much. You know, any exposure is good as long as it's as long as it's decent exposure. As long as you know, I'm, I'm not completely mutilated and nobody has completely mutilated anything that I've said what they have done is taken out some good parts yeah. and I find that to be very insulting I find that to be very reassuring okay if they have to take out the good stuff they're afraid oh, yeah. okay and I love their fear I feed on <laughs> their fear when they when they take that stuff out I get really angry and then I sit back and say ha, I got them really good I got them so scared that they cut it out and won't show their audience and awesome. I, so the, you should remember those points and then you know just line them up well <laughs> line up I'm, all the I'm points that now, they're, they're scared of nobody does it nobody has edited me in a, in a long time the the Gretchen Carlson show is live but when it's taped I do go in and I do record the show for my own purposes, um, but uh, they don't. They haven't edited me. I I, I think Sean edited. Uh, Sean Hannity Hannity edited um, one or two sentences, but he kept in some good parts, which I was pretty happy with. So uh, I, I yeah, there's some editing, um, but not on the big shows. Uh, except on Huckabee. Hmm. All right. Um, <clears throat> speaking of Gretchen Carlson and uh, and you're showing up on her show, I've got to ask, uh, who smells better, Bill Donahue or Gretchen Carlson? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything about how Gretchen Carlson smells. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> she just looks like she smells bad. Maybe that's just my opinion. No, 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 no. Uh... I'm, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It, it, she, she's one, another one of these uh, people that it, you know, is, is highly educated, but uh, plays a pretty dumb role. But man, is she convincing. She is. Uh, she's skilled and talented at what she does. Um, she is better. At her job than say uh, a Stuart Varney, who uh, or um, or some other people who really are just trying to be like other people. Uh, Gretchen is knowledgeable. Uh, she is sighted. She is slanted, um, and I don't believe she pretends otherwise. But uh, she is skilled at what she does, and um, you now. Uh, I think she's getting to like me. I think she's getting to understand our point, and I think that's why I keep going on. Um, I think, uh, <coughs> sorry, I, I think she is underrated, frankly, um, and I really hope that uh, well, she... Well, they did just give her her own show. They did give her her own show, and I'm happy about that. So you're uh, definitely getting a lot more airtime because of that I, you've you've been doing a lot of interviews with them and uh, yeah every week. How about how about Donahue? Is he is he a real life ass? Yeah, yeah, I, I believe <laughs> yeah, yeah. it. I believe that too, man. The way his demeanor is, <laughs> I yeah, totally he's, believe he's, it. He's a real life ass. Now I I will say that, um, and I'll also say he's not um, he's not universally a bad person. He is a he is a uh, businessman. He is um, playing to his audience, 
um, and he says things that he know will, knows will get play, just as I do. But his opinion is uh, deliberately ignorant, and I think he hides truth, and I think he clouds truth deliberately because he doesn't want real truth to be known. He does a lot of the answering questions with questions part. He does a lot of the not letting me answer my question and never answering my question. Um, and he does that because his argument is fundamentally flawed and he knows it. So I believe that he is, um, he does not mean everything that he says. I'm not inside his brain, but I don't think he believes everything that he says. And at the same time, I think he's doing a job and playing a role. And, uh, yeah, he's 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 not the nicest person out there, but he's certainly not the rudest either. Oh uh, yeah, I, I can believe that. I uh, think he's part of a clergy project, man. To be honest with you, he's just being a dick because he has to do what he does every day. <laughs> well, <kidding>. yeah. <laughs> well, but I mean, don't, you, you have to realize that that people like Donahue probably do just as much against what you know their organization as they do for it. You know. <sighs> I, I'm I'm almost the same way. I'm I'm really rude and I'm confrontational and my videos are abrasive and I, I tear into people with no concern and you know and I probably do a lot of <clears throat> a lot of harm, I guess, for, for people that are not atheists that see me and they think, Oh well this guy's a real douchebag and they're right. But I'm not trying to be a spokesperson. Donahue is trying to be a spokesperson and I've gotta think that he does just as much harm as he does good, if not more harm than good. Um, I don't, anyway, I don't, I, I don't think he scratches the surface compared to the Pope, the Pope himself, uh, yeah. at least Benedict. And uh, I, I think, uh, remember, the Donahue's organization is not the Vatican. Donahue's organization is the Catholic League. Yeah, it's its own nonprofit organization, and Bill's the president. I think he does very well for his organization in that he brings a lot of visibility to it. Um, he is the most negative side of the Catholic. Of, of Catholicism in this country. Um, he is, uh, in my opinion, you know, the worst side, the worst thing that Catholicism has really to offer from an organizational standpoint, not from a pedophilia standpoint. Um, uh, but, Sorry, pedophilia is not funny. I just right. couldn't help laughing there. Sorry. But I, I think, <clears throat> I think there's, there's a lot of similarity as much as I hate to say it, between Donahue and myself in that we have a very similar market segment and we have a very similar attitude toward that market segment. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he, uh, what I'm saying is that everything that I can say about him, he can say about me, and that doesn't make me happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. All right, well, you know, um, I've got <clears throat> one more question, but I just wanted to thank you very much. I've been following you uh especially on fox news for for quite some time and um, i'm actually pretty honored to uh to get the chance to ask you a few questions and I, I will put that link to that awesome video you've got to watch and also to uh my youtube channel in case you wanted to watch because i've covered almost every one of your damn interviews oh i've uh, seen some of your myself. videos Octopus. I, oh I've really your, oh yeah <laughs> that's oh, yeah. awesome that's yeah. really awesome and thank right, you well, so much for your support i really appreciate it <laughs> No, no, you're you're a good guy, man. All right, so so I'll leave you with my last question here, and uh, that is, what is the most annoying argument that you frequently have to deal with from theists? I feel it in my heart. Woo! Oh, that's a good I hate one, that. Man. Oh, I, I hate, hate that. that because <laughs> that's that's a dead stop. I'm going to believe what I want to believe. You lose, la 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 la, and there's no logical way around it. There's no, there's there's. All you do is face palm it. You feel it in your heart, which is another way of saying, I'm not going to argue with you anymore. I admit that you're right, but I'm not going to admit that you're right. And um, I think it's, it's lame, and it's, it's the exact same thing that anybody can say, but it is the most annoying thing. When people say, oh, it's true to me. Oh. It's because they, they, they don't know what the word true is. And the reason they don't know what the word true is is because they've been indoctrinated and brainwashed by this lie to think that it's truth. So truth is relative. Oh, it's true to you but not true to him. No, there's no invisible man in the sky. That simply ain't true. They claim and it's absolute not true truth. to anyone. <laughs> and, and it's so frustrating when you get this, this wall of, well, I think it. 
Therefore, it must be true. And therefore, you can't combat it. Therefore, if you attack it, you're attacking me. Mm -hmm. um, it's very effective to the listener at shutting down the logic. Yeah, and they internalize that faith. Yeah. They internalize that, that belief and that faith, and then they take yeah. offense to it when you question it or ask them to question it. All right, man, awesome answers. Um, this was really enjoyable for me. I'm going to pass you off to Ned, Negation of P. He, I'm sure he's got some – he's a smart guy. I'm sure he's got some really good questions for you as well, man. So he's thanks, our, Dave. Thank you, TJ. He's our yeah. researcher guy, so thanks, TJ. Uh, stick around, TJ, because we need – Let's get to the point.